Johnson & Johnson that had a, a finishing plant in Pleasantville. It was called Permacell Tape. We made a cellophane tape a lot like scotch tape. Mm -hmm. So we were a finishing plant. They would send us down the uh, materials in bulk, uh, like the, uh, the cellophane came in 1,000-yard bundle rolls that were 60 inches wide. So that was a big roll. You know, that, and then we would load it onto our machines and cut it down to size and package it. And I worked there for probably close to 10 years. Uh -huh. um, the company uh, was non-union. The, John, the uh, owner of Johnson & Johnson uh, was not an advocate of unionism. Oh, dear. And uh, they decided, the, uh, he treated the, the employees very well. They were all, all the benefits that they normally would have received. But uh, the union organizers, uh, were, they found a guy that was had a little, was a little disgruntled, and they put a bug in his ear, and they said, if you... Uh, help us to get organized so we'll see if you get to be the president of the union or whatever they told I don't know what they are. I was at that time I had worked my way up within the, the company and I was a, a, a production scheduler and I managed the warehouse so I was a white collar worker uh, as opposed to blue collar worker so I wasn't in the part of the union at all I was part of management team. Did you retire from this company? No I, I uh, no I left uh, them uh, well, what happened there, um, they organized uh, that company, uh, they organized the union. Johnson 